Hey dudes, don't be afraid. Just take a shit day and make it better. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. I'm chirpy this morning. We've got a new car reveal and I'll do it in two seconds. Just a quick update on my alloy wheels that are in bits. They're getting there. There's one that's kind of been done, although it's not quite there. It's like a seven out of 10 and I want to get it to like an eight and a half. Get some of that little fine, I can't get it all out. It's just done too much. But from where I started, um, to where I'm getting them, it's going okay. Um, let's go and talk about the new car. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? My garage is a mess. Uh, I'm using the rotary. I'm actually finding, so I'm doing a bit of sanding on them first, just to kind of dig out the, the real heavy kind of etchy in them. Now, they're old, these. Um, and uh, I've got all these tools here. I'm finding... Funny enough, less polish and the foam is giving me the best finish. But I cut, I go over them first with the little wool one because that seems to dig out most of the horrible finish. So it's just taking time. Anyway, let's go. And, um, an auto sole I'm finding is working better than some of these other metal polishes I've got. But let's go and talk about the car. So what car do you think I've bought? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. This wasn't, this is, a, I'm not sure. This was a spare of the moment. It's not a smart car. I'm boring that off Martin. It's a Porsche. It's a Porsche. Black. It's dirty. But that's all part of the fun. First Porsche I've ever owned. 996 Carrera. 4S. Carrera 4S. Um, so let's get inside the car. Just look at, I, I love the look of it. I was never, you know, the, the lights, the 996 was the one that I, oh, I just walked into my M4, was the one that I kind of thought I didn't want because of the lights. But then when I saw this, just, I sort of saw it and thought, you know what, it looks really nice. Um, so for the Porsche guys, it's got carbon, Porsche carbon, in there it's got the sports seats which we're going to do something with because they're looking a little bit glossy on the contact areas i think that's the original paint should be nice and matte so we're going to try and sort those out and uh, let's get in oh oh slow down seats are pretty comfy i'll do a full review it's got the bose sound system with carbon surrounds it's got a car oh. Close the steering wheel, close the door properly. It's got carbon fibre steering wheel. It's done 70,000 miles. Got carbon fibre surround on the Stesa. You can see there, it all needs a good clean, like all the nooks and crannies and stuff. And when the sun's out, it's all dusty and it just needs detailing, which is fine. Um, it's got carbon fibre handbrake, carbon fibre centre console, carbon fibre gear stick, it's got a sunroof, which I usually don't like, but it's fine. This car is not going to be a track car. Carbon fibre there. And this is all Porsche carbon fibre as well, which is rare to see it there. It's got the red seat belts that need a good scrub and extraction to get, get them back to a cleaner red, which is all fine. Um, now, I'll do like a video review on this, I just need to set all the cameras up properly and all that sort of stuff and take it for a drive and show you all that sort of stuff. But we'll just start it up. So it's cold. It's, I've just given it a major service. Um, it's had a bore score in check, it passed that. Uh, it had a 110 point check inspection, which revealed a couple of things that need sorting out, but they're relatively minor and I'll go through with that, those with you in another video. So it's a good, a good straight one um it's not been used much in the last last 10 years really which is part of the problem they do need to be driven so let's just make sure i got the handbrake off oh make sure i'm in reverse so don't drive into the garage oh that's interesting so now the 
I had a fault with the reversing sensors. Like when I'd put it into reverse, they would permanently come on. But, but now they're not doing it. That's all right. So maybe there's a little niggle with the reversing sensors. Maybe that's fixed itself now. Could be one of those types of cars. Um, it's got, it's had a clutch and an IMS bearing done recently. So everyone's gonna worry about the IMS bearing, but that's been done. Um, it needs tracking. So I'm gonna get probably four wheel alignment done on it because it's steering wheels off position. You'll see that now. Oh, hold on a second. Let's just plug my seatbelt in. Hold on a sec. Oh, a bit wobbly wobbly. I'm only, I'm just going to take to the end of this road and back again. Oh, Did you just get a feel for it. The windscreen wipers are a bit hectic. They kind of work. They're, they're fine. I'll probably just replace those with new wiper blades. You can see like the steering wheel angle over to the left there. Um, it's cold as well I need the oil pressure to build up so I'm not going to go tearing around I'm just going to drive it there and then, then back again this is just giving you a little feel for the Porsche I'll go this way down here Oh, probably all out of focus. Stay here. Now, I'm not gonna take it over some 3,000 revs. But it's so nice and smooth. It's got sports exhaust as well, so you can press the button over there somewhere, down here. That turns it off but you want it on because it's more throaty and it's got a lovely sound when you accelerate. It revs all the way up to kind of seven and a half thousand. Um, pulls okay, you know, it pulls really nice. Good amount of power actually, and it puts its power down well, even in the frost. It's not, it's a bit different to the BMW, which I'll talk about in a later video. Well, those reversing sensors are working, man. That's bizarrely temperamental, this car. If you hear that little throaty roar. It's freezing cold today. Um, and I just like driving it. But, um, hold on a second. There has been a curse with this car. There's a story behind it. <laughs> it wasn't smooth sailing. Like um, me and Martin went to take it for a test drive. The owner is a lovely bloke. I don't know if he's watching, Jeff. Top man, uh, he restores cars and hopefully I'm gonna uh, get a chance to show you some of the stuff that he does. Like he, he's like really good. Like they're restoring some proper old cars. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he restores cars. And we took it for a test drive, me and Martin, we were driving around in it and it was lovely. Um, let me just keep that there, sorry. And it was going great. And then the ABS warning light came on and the red battery light came on. And then it sort of, uh, what's, what's going on here? And then uh, it, uh, Basically, then it cleared, drove okay, and then loads of like warning lights came on and then cleared. And then it started losing power and it then, just leave it running, and then it conked out in the middle of a country lane. Um, 
and we were me and Martin were smart enough to fi figure out two things. We one we think we had a flat battery that the black battery was wasn't charged. It tells you the indicator it was well below twelve. I think it was like eleven volts or something. But two, we think it ran out of gas. Um, now these fuel gauges, when you fill them up, if you don't go beyond quarter of the way, apparently they don't register. So you don't know how much fuel you got. So when you fill it, you've got to fill it right above halfway and then it tracks properly, okay? Like you can see, we've got a quarter now. So the fuel gauge was showing empty um, and it basically ran out of gas. So Jeff put some fe petrol in it and had a little jump pack thing and we got it back to his and it was seemed to be running okay then, but we put a multimeter on it and the alternator was, wasn't working. We should have got, should be getting like 14 volts. Um, like we're getting now. So the alternator had gone basically and it hadn't, and it ran out of petrol. So we had a flat battery and flat, flat car. So I wasn't too worried. And Jeff put a Bosch alternator in it and it seems to be working. That seems to be fixed now. So all was good. Um, but I thought I'd get the 100 point check done on it and I'll go through all the things, you know, in another video on that report just to make sure it was all good, you know, get the board scoring check, but get, get it all checked out. Um, I had that check done, they highlighted some things that I'll go through with you, but they're all minor. So then I bought the car and then I went to pick it up from the garage and I had to go around and see Martin, drop Martin off in Lavin. And we're, dro we're driving through the countryside and suddenly the car started running really lumpy. It's just developed a misfire. You, we could smell like it was, one of the cylinders wasn't firing. Um, so we drove it back to Auto Technics and I thought, oh Jesus, <laughs> what have I bought? Uh, but it was just a, it was just a coil pack that had cracked. Um, that when they were done the bore scoping checks, uh, checks, you have to disturb the coil packs to get to the spark plugs and get into the into the uh, cylinder. Uh, so one of them probably cracked and uh, went, and that was like thirty nine quid. So that's been done. It's running really good now. Um, but yeah, it was just funny. It was just funny. The thing with this car is, I'll just turn it off. The thing with this car is, you know, they need to be used, don't they? Like all old ladies, they need to be run. And this wasn't getting used. I think that was one of the reasons Jeff was selling it. Um, and I thought it's a really good way to get into a Porsche. I loved the way it drived. You know, I can do some stuff on it because it needs it needs polishing. It needs some little bits and pieces that I can probably all do. Um, and I can just enjoy it. I'm not going to track it because it's it's an old lady. It could probably handle it, but it just wouldn't be good. So it's just going to be a car for the channel to uh, to enjoy for the next few years, you know. Um, and I love it, guys. I love it. Really do love it. Um, so let me know what you think. I mean, like some people hate Porsches. Some people love them. This is the first one I've owned. I'm really excited. Looking forward to driving it. Um, give me your comments. Delivery guys just turned up, so got, got to go. Take care.